SharePoint communication sites are so powerful. They really do have the ability to change the way we communicate with our users. We can do so much so quickly. In our session, we're going to go back to the basics. We're going to look at what does it take to create pages? How do we use these simple modern web parts to uh, configure them and put them together on the pages to come out with these great solutions? Over the week, you're going to see so many great examples um, of communication sites, and you're going to get all excited cited but how did they get these sites built how did they build them out what web parts are they using how did they get them configured and set up the goal of my session is to take you back to the basics go back to that 101 level content how do we pull stuff together so that you can get all excited about everything you see and, and hear at the conference but when you leave my session you have the basics you know that I can walk out of this and I know where I need to go to get started and I know how I need to start working with the site so that I can go home and using the wonderful things I've learned at the conference, I can go recreate these in my own Office 365 environment, I can use the inspiration I got at the conference, but now I know where to get started. So in our session, we're gonna look at just simple internet and communication sites. We're gonna use the web parts, we're gonna build out pages, we're gonna use all the concepts of when do I use navigation? How do I use search? How do I do all of these things? What are the configuration settings? And so we're gonna spend um, some time digging into that, going over to that, going over those features, and then building out these internet sites. So so I really hope you'll join us in May and I am looking forward to seeing you and digging into internet sites.